These two look like a pair, these two wee ones. Valley Black Nose. Cross Jacob Lambs. <laughs> you know, it's good to follow stories like this, this little hog that had the bad lambing that we saw. Lamb, now you can, some people will salt water or wet this lamb, but there's gonna be no need here. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. So this is what happens when you don't do night checks, folks. We have four, four lambs here, three lambs over here. I thought there was one dead, but it's not, it's fine. I couldn't really see in the light, or that one doesn't look too flash. And we have two over here with a triplet. So that looks a tidy wee unit. Triplet lamb in there, that's fine, looks okay. These two look like a pair, these two wee ones. These two look like a pair. And I'm not sure what the rest is. See that, there's brown logs and there's brown logs. That's a single, that'll be her single there. It is a big solid lamb that, so it may be a single. Pop her in just now. She has definitely lambed. Leave her with that just now. Try and work the rest of it out. And there's a pair over here as well. So, as you can now see, we've had six sheep lamb. Six, five sheep. One, two, three, four, five sheep lamb last night. So that'll make a full recovery. Hey, colostrum, innit? Look, look at that. That lamb that James has just shown you just now on the camera, that's the lamb that was near death last night from the field and whose mum is up here with the big teats. Even this lamb is just probably not going to do it now. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great incredible. result. Oh, great. It's amazing. Absolutely incredible. We'll let her put, that. stick that in and see if she's yeah, keen so. on it there, Tom. That's her own lamb. It's been away a wee while. No, I <laughs> That's good, we managed to save that one. I was pretty confident we wouldn't save the other. I'll be honest, I wasn't that confident we would save this one though. She's still going to dislike that one. She might come to like it. I'll get them on the teats later once we sort this mess out. You've seen the situation. The camera could be rolling for 20 minutes while I work this out, so I'm going to put the camera down, watch everything quietly, see what's nudging what, do some swapping around, and I'll show you the end result if it works out. I'll show you it anyway. Okay, so positives are we had 6, 8, 10, 11 healthy lambs. Healthy ish lambs. They're a bit hungry, some of them, but they're alive, which is the great thing. The negative is that they were split between five yews, so there is lambs everywhere, and I've just tried to pair them up as best I can. It's not right, because I can tell that the three silly ones are definitely triplets, but there's no yew, we'll take all three. And what's been happening is they've all been lambing in a big pile, or they've been pinching lambs, so while they're lambing, they're mothering another lamb, and they probably love that lamb and then their own lambs come out and they've wandered off while they're distracted and everybody's all over the place licking lambs that are everywhere and the lambs are all over the place trying to get a suit because they don't have their one mum and the sheep are moving so the lambs get hungry and they're getting weak so what I'm going to do that colostrum I tubed off last night or I milked off last night I'm going to just tube the ones that are hungry get a bit of strength about them and then reassess what's happening another positive is that other lamb survived, how amazing is that? Like, that was not in good shape, and it's actually, as I look right now, it's powering in, trying to get a sook. But obviously, we're gonna have to help it get used to those teats. So we'll get that lamb onto those teats and get it started as a priority, because it looks very hungry, it's not anything all night, it was just left in the, the plate warmer in the ray burn last night, and as uh, Tom said, he got up this morning 
and it's running about, peeing all over the kitchen floor. Love a success story like that. So yeah, it's one of those things this morning. Uh, you may obviously, in the perfect world, you say, right, Cammy, you know, why are you not checking the shed at night? The shed's 25 minutes from where I live. And in the last three years of lambing, genuinely, I'm not just saying this, the last three years of lambing mules in the shed, I've lost two lambs. And it's like balancing up. And very rarely do we have, we've been following the vlog now, I don't know what day we're on. Been following it for a while, we've never come in the morning and had a pile up like that. It does happen. That's probably an extreme example, I would say, for five years to lamb all in a heap. We weren't all in a heap, one of them was way by itself. But to lamb as tight as that and, and a pile up, when I've not been checked since, you know, 11 o'clock last night, so that's six hours. So it's a lot of sheep in one pile. Actually, as I say that, it's not really a lot of sheep. They're all teasered, so they need to lamb at some point. But it's unfortunate the way it's happened. We'll get it sorted out one way or another and you guys will see what we do. We need to go now though and tube these lambs and then nip and check the outdoor sheep. Hopefully it's not the same story out there. Okay, so we've got those lambs tubed and I'm just leaving them till they get a bit stronger. Nothing's too upset at the moment. I've done a bit of rearranging. I'll leave them till they're a bit stronger and as they try to get suckling with the yow, we'll see who's standing for the lambs and who's spinning round. Okay, and as if we weren't having enough problems this morning, another one of these hogs lambing, and it looks like she's needing some assistance, but I can see feet, so it shouldn't be as bad as yesterday, he says. Oh, it's not even a hog, is it? No, I tell a lie. I thought from a distance it was a hog, but I think it's a gimmer. It's a gimmer. With a big single. Oh, it's a floppy eared one. It's a floppy eared one, just needing a pull. It's okay, lass. You were nearly there. You were nearly there. It's just a big lamb. Now look at it. The singles are getting too much feeding now. There you go. There you go, lass. Look what you did. Let me show you. Look what you did. That was you. I know that would be a bit of an effort. I missed you actually when I walked around this morning because you must have been lambing. You hid it well. Because she's a gimmer and a wee bit sad, I'm just going to pen her up and put her in with that lamb, that massive lamb, and see how they go. Now, I said to myself, don't be getting so busy that you stop making videos, just try and pick the camera up and do bits that we can put together to keep this going. <clears throat> so that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm just going to give you, I feel like we're missing out on some of the really good parts. Um, whilst I was filming some of the bad parts today, obviously the Cheviots, having a clear run was a good part, but, but good parts are little uh, hog that had the uh, rough lambing. Bad example here, but if I just get her to jump up my feet, she's lively as again. And she's eating and drinking and loves her little lamb that's been getting no supplementation. So that's been getting in there. I know she's looking uncomfortable there, but that's just because of me. Oh, she's having a poo, that's why. But yep, so that's a success story. This isn't great. That's that big lamb we just pulled out. She's just chewing her cud, not interested. So I'm going to have to put that on for a suckle. She's not actually got heaps of milk, so we'll probably give that some colostrum from that ewe last night. It's a monster lamb, as you can see. And she's just, are you into it? It is. Well, maybe she is. We'll just keep an eye on that. And this is a half success story that we saved that lamb. This is a ewe with the big teats. You can see them popping out there. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna milk her out again. Put these lambs on for a suckle. Make sure they get a belly full of milk. After bringing that one back from the brink, we don't want it going downhill again. And she now loves the one with the skin on. She was just a bit worked up last night. So, very pleased with that one. We lost the lamb, which was my fault, 100%. I accept that. Um, 
I was going to say it's one of these things that happens, but it's not really because it was just me not being vigilant enough. It wasn't like it's, oh, these things happen. It's like, mm, if you'd went up right up into the corner of the field earlier in the day, you would have seen it earlier. So that's a lesson learned. As I say, you win or you learn. Sometimes you lose at Lamin, but no, you win or you learn. And that's a, a good, good lesson for me. First time I've lambed outside in that field. Should have known better, I just know. I showed you guys before, you get lambs up in their feet. If you want to make sure they're all right, you know. Unless I say that, you look at these lambs. I look at those lambs, I know those lambs are fine, but they have been in a couple of days, so you'd see them deteriorate. It's the ones that are not long born. Like, I know these are all fine because they've been here since yesterday. But it's like ones like that, that's a bad example, there's a good example. Like ones like this, it's a great example. It's not been long born, and I know I've just tubed it so it's fine, but it's sitting there, that could just be sleeping, or it could be really hungry and weak. And that's a good one example of when you would stand up. But it's not long been tubed so I'm not disturbed. But I'm rambling on nonsense, most of it I'm sure, but my brain's going to work less and less efficiently as the sleep deprivation proceeds. Is that Jacob nesting over there? Not sure. Anyway, enough to be getting on with without standing about on the camera. So I'm going to rattle on with some jobs and we'll catch up with you in a bit for the next exciting thing that happens. Okay, so remember earlier when I said that Jacob looks like she's going to lamb? Well, it's happened. And here we have our very first Valley Black Nose Cross Jacob Lambs. <laughs> so the father of this is a Valley Black Nose top. Look at those crackers. Look at the size of them last as well. Absolute belters. Yeah, I hear you. That, come on, come on. That's cool, isn't it? It's fun. Like, I just love a wee thing like that. It's not practical in a commercial sense or anything like that. It's just a little bit of fun. We put the Jacob to the Valley Black Nose and look how bra these wee lambs are. Better get them penned up. I tell you, it's just a, a pleasure coming to the TV. So I've set of twins just behind me there. And with this one that's just literally just dropped. No, not literally. But she wouldn't have dropped that long ago. And I was just going to see they're a bit smaller than some of the twins we've been having, but that doesn't matter. She's just a wee cheviot, so we want them lambing themselves, that's the goal. I went to see if I could just get a wee bit closer. She seemed like a kind sheep as we drove past, so I thought I could get a wee bit closer. More so for, for um, you guys over in America and Canada and around the world that will never really have seen a Chief yet. It's nice to see them up close. Big teats on her for a wee lamb. Need to watch that. Big teats. Right, we'll stop causing hassle. Usually I just keep a good distance. So as you've seen before, they're hard to deal with, but because they're wild, but look, she's such a good mum, just coming to gather that other one back up before it disappears. It's came to my voice. So I'm just being an absolute nuisance. So we'll leave her to work away there, but noted she has big teats. We're not gonna get caught out with that again, like we did yesterday. Mush mush driver. I suppose I should have done a little bit talking about James. I talked a bit about Murray, but I've not really spoke about James. You watch the holes and I'll ask you the questions. <laughs> so James is actually um, from the town. No real farming experience except for days with me and we've done quite a few days now to be fair. So he's quite good and quite able with catching sheep and holding lambs and doing all the jobs that take time. Watering pens, putting hay into pens, all these jobs take a lot of time. Which is why it's been so good this year that he's coming out for a few days about a hand at Murray that was with us for the first few days, he's got his own sheep to lamb and nothing was really happening. So I says to him, you know, you've got your own sheep to do. His uncle James is as busy as anything. So I says, you go back home uh, and, and give him a, him a hand and I'll be fine. Of course, as soon as he leaves, it goes crazy. But we knew that would happen. But yeah, so James is from the town, just out on his holidays from work. 
for the fun of it. You enjoying it so far? It's alright so far. You yeah. haven't shouted that too many times? No, just twice I think. <laughs> but both justified. Both justified. Okay, so go, go, go. We are now, we're going to do a run through of the disasters in here at some point. I'm maybe too erratic. I haven't edited enough videos at this point to know how erratic this is all coming across. You know, it's good to follow stories like this, this little hog that had the bad lambing that we saw. It's great to follow that little story. So I try and remember the sheep that we've seen some interesting things on. Obviously, the, the girl we brought in from the field last night as well, another great story. These two happy lambs now. And we had the mess this morning, which we'll talk through at some point as well. But for now, we've got a load of sheep to go out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we've got 10 to go out here. Usual story here with these sheep getting cowped. Lizzie was round just a couple hours ago and we've come round now, there's two cowped. And the good thing is they're never over long, but it's just getting big enough, I think. You see this other one over here. Very black. She's like a Suffolk. There you go. Problem sorted. No doubt they'll be up for a feed just in a second. I have just jumped suddenly to this. I was moving lambs a second ago, but we didn't, um, I didn't take any footage of the lambs coming off. It was quite, well, there was a lot of sheep and a lot of lambs. And... So Lizzie has just phoned to say that there is a triplet and a single lambing at the shed. Don't ask me why she's looking in the shed. Well, actually I know why she's there. She was dropping Robbie off his birthday present whilst I was out checking the sheep outside. And by checking the sheep outside, I mean filming a daft little video for Facebook like this. Good fun, wasn't it? It was good. Good fun. Ah, die. So, while I was busy, uh, she's been watching this and she's phoned saying I should be over there swapping them round and making sure that one of the triplets goes in the single and they both have twins so I'm just heading to the shed just now to do that we'll see you there look at the birthday boy here let's see you hey <laughs> pure merched up big man looking good covid fist how does it feel to be six seven no, but I know, but how did it feel to be six? That's boring. Saved that well, didn't I? Boring, yeah, no, seven's good, seven's good. Forgot that. Right, let's go and see. Uh, obviously, uh, for the camera, not for the camera, this is true anyway, but for you guys, Lizzie uh, doesn't get involved with anything. She's here in a supervisory role only to see what's happening. Yeah, go and tell us one thing you got for your birthday. Hang on, tell me, tell me something you got. I got the two things I really want to tell you: a massive mech or a rugby set. Rugby set. You chose rugby set. That's a good choice. What? Uh, so, your dad's English and your mum's Scottish. Is that right? Yes. And what kind of rugby strip did you get? Scotland. And is that because they're the better team, or just because you prefer Scotland? Prefer Scotland that well both. Is there any English rugby fans out there? I don't want to upset anyone, so I don't mention the Six Nations on here. Alright, alright, Lizzie's going mental because <laughs> Right Robbie, stop distracting me. I've got things to do. I'm coming, Lizzie. Yeah. Hold this. Uh, so a wee update on the triplet, she popped one out that was stillborn, it was already dead, the second one came out, which is quite unusual in a trio, but um, Lizzie had a look at it and it was just dead, so she just left it in the pen, obviously she can't touch it, so I'm going to get this single out and give her an extra lamb. Okay, so 
for this rubbing on process. Call it rubbing on or twinning on. Depending where you're from. Adopting maybe. I'm going to use a bag. Don't No, I wouldn't need any lube. The horrible thing about using a bag is that all the sheep start shouting. Now she's a, everyone that's enough, I'm talking to the microphone. Now she's a really kind sheep, I can just tell, so it won't be that hard to rub a lamb onto. Okay, so I've got a wee lamb here. Now this is a lamb that's been a pet for a few days. And I don't really want it being a pet much longer, it starts to get too big and strong, so I'm just going to tie its legs together. Aye, right, Lammy. Right, Lammy. That looks like it's quite painful. It does, but... There's some people do this for pleasure, Robbie, so... It might surprise you. But it's not that bad. Yeah, but she's having a lamb right now. She is. We're just going to do this. Now the reason I'm tying this lamb is because it is so strong and it'll just be too rough and we want it to lie down a bit and flail like a... Sorry, I'll turn around so we can see. That'll be easier. You're okay, Alice. Give me your other leg. There you are. That's you. Bag slide under like that. You're okay. Lamb's right here. Lamb. Now you can, some people will salt water or wet this lamb, but there's going to be no need here because this is a juicy, juicy sheep, as you're about to see. Oh, lass. Oh, lass. There we go. Obviously, check it as a single before you do too much more work. But I trust my scanner. And then all you're doing is really just extracting the juices here. Of course, yes, Lizzie, thank you. Uh, you should check your sheep has plenty of milk, which this one does. Quite embarrassing and would not be the first time that I rubbed a lamb on. Now, it is handy. If there's two people, it is handy if one holds the sheep, but it's just not so easy because... I'm not letting Lizzie do anything. Right, mommy. Now all this le these legs and the tail and things like that are all full of juice. And while I'm rubbing this side, the bottom side's getting soaked by the, the juice that's there anyway. Let's just rub your wee head in there, Lammy. Here's a wee bit of skin. Now it is quite rough, I get that, there's no much way of rubbing juices onto a lamb without it looking a little bit rough, but you do it as nicely as you can and just get it soaked up. That's it, that's, I know, I know your lamb's coming to you. Just a wee bit of juice coming in this bag, a wee bit more. Quite often what you'll get with sheep when the lamb is they'll have a secondary bag. Sorry, that's uh, sorry. She's just a good mum. She's just a good mum. There's another wee bit of juice there. Right, that's heaps. Okay. Okay. There you go, Mum. Look here. Now, the good thing is, although that is quite a big pet lamb, it's also a fairly big single lamb, so there'll be a nice match once she's mothered it. Can I have blood in your face? Have I? Yeah. Does it, does it look cool? Have I got a bit of blood in my face? Do you get it? Is it? Are you just wiping it down? I thought you were going to wipe it off. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm just keeping her almost out of sight of this one at the moment, just because I know she'll take this one. And I'm just giving her a wee second to bond with the other one. And the racket off these sheep is wild. Just pop it there. And she can work away on the two of them. She's a, she's a dab hand, I actually have no idea where I got this sheep from. Um, I bought a heap of sheep with lambs at foot. Now I'm not really sure the breeding of this sheep you're looking at here, she's almost got a sort of Shetland cross look about her. The next thing that was an issue was this wee lamb isn't good in its legs. So we're going to have to nurse it for a few days, it can't actually stand up, it's just got really bandy legs. Now it might come right, it might not. I think with a bit of milk and a, bit, a few days they'll come right, because I believe these three purple bums that I've had to lift are actually a set of triplets out of a gimmer, but nobody wants them, poor wee things. So out of the 11 lambs, I ended up lifting three of them, but it's not really the end of the world, because they were small lambs. The two gimmers have a single, the single U has twins. It wasn't the end of the world. I can't remember the ones we've really seen from the beginning, so you guys can follow through. And letter L is one of those examples. And I'll just show you her just now. This is her down here, just getting tucked into the crystal X. How are you, girl? You had a hard lambing yesterday, didn't you? I mean, this, that, you can see she's a little bit swollen at the back end. She's got painkillers and also antibiotics and just it just really shows you what an incredible animal the sheep is that you know two days well a day just over 24 hours after lambing here she is here's l here a little lamb a little lamb a massive lamb wandering around the paddock and she loves it so yeah just a great wee story for that wee hog obviously it's quite brutal to see the lambing and I hope it's good that I can show this was one of the success stories. Doesn't always go that way, but this was a good one. Okay, so obviously we had a kind of late night last night with that disaster out in the field. I don't want that to happen again tonight. It's already eight o'clock. So we have two units to pen up here. We have a twin over there and we have this twin here. We're just sitting waiting on them finishing. What a cracking set of lambs these are. Straight up and in for a sook. It's beautiful to see. That is just a dream. Heaps in the vlog again. I'm going to do this. And if you don't see me again in this vlog, I've had a nice clean round outside and there's been no disasters. I was there just an hour ago, so it should be fine. Thanks for watching, sheep fans. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh!